Hello Mixers and welcome to Memory Mixer Design Studio. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to find elements that you've used so that you might use them again. Several weeks ago I had a chance to go see my daughter up at girls camp and so I came home, made a page about that day, but now I'm going to go back and make pages about the days prior. I want to keep a consistent look throughout the album so I want to use the same things that I had prior. But it's been a few days ago and I don't remember so let me show you a few tricks so that you can find what we used. All I'm doing is selecting on an element. You can see it's opened the embellishment drawer, so we know it's an embellishment. But now if I hold the Control shift f 10 key down, it brings up where the file was located. So you'll find it in the Embellishment Packs, Designers, Edson Company by Thea, In Your Dreams, Alphabet. And that happened to be the F. So you can see it's real easy to see what you use. So if I were to click on the, let's click on the H. Control shift F10 again, and you see embellishment packs, designers, Karen Lewis, Rock Wiz, Alphabet, and the H. So now, okay, I can figure out how I can find those embellishments, but let's see about the background. I click on this, and if you notice, we have a shape drawer that has opened up, so that indicates this is actually a shape sitting here rather than an embellishment or background. So if I just slide that over, you can see the background is actually behind there. If I just click on the background, do the Control shift f 10 you can see down here, Paper Packs, Designers, Karen Lewis, Everyday Crafty Days of the Week, Thursday. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the rest of the pages to do the other days of the week. So on that page, I actually just changed the opacity a little bit, and then I did the brown overlay just so it brought the color in that I wanted, but just changed so the dates weren't so bold in the back. In fact, let me show you what they looked like before I changed the opacity. So it's really cute paper. Oops, that was on the shape, not what I meant to do. So I'll come back out to the backgrounds. We'll change the opacity back. And you can see it's just a little more contrasting and competed with my pictures a little more. So I'll just go ahead and undo that. And then do put my shape back over there. So, and then I added the shape to just bring the brown tone back into the paper that I wanted. Okay, so now we can just look at other elements in the page. So I can click on these little index cards, Control Shift F10, and it's the embellishments, freebies, 2008 white index cards. So if you don't have that one, go grab it off the website. It is really just a cute embellishment to have on hand for journaling or actually doing recipes. And let's see if these little staples are there. Control shift F10. And again, embellishment packs, manufacturers, last impressions, mix and buckets of fun, make a kit, and that's the staple. I hope this takes some of the guesswork out as you're looking for embellishments. Remember, control shift F10. That command will work on any embellishment or background that wasn't already included in a quick mix, but you'll be able to find any embellishments that you bring in and add to a quick mix or things you create from scratch. So it's just that easy to find out where your elements are located. Thanks for stopping by the Memory Mixer Studio, and we'll see you next time.